This video is brought to you by the Eureka Groove Robot Vacuum Cleaner. Are you looking for a robot vacuum cleaner that just might be your perfect companion to help you clean around the edges as well as get your whole house clean and maybe some of those high traffic areas that pick up a lot of dirt, pet hair, uh, cat litter, that kind of thing, then the Eureka Groove might just be the droid that you're looking for. There are four different ways to control this thing. The vacuum connects to Wi-Fi and you can use an app as well as your favorite voice assistant uh, I don't want to say the names because they'll trigger them in your home and then also you can just use a remote control that comes with the machine as well as just turning it on from the machine itself it goes back home after it's done and everything no must no fuss the Eureka groove robot vacuum cleaner I've been using it it's been cleaning up my pet hair and and uh, all kinds of grossness that I have laying around my house that I never I never sweep It's easy to take out of the box and use, and uh, it's easy to take apart and clean and empty out. It's got some nice knobby wheels on there that climb over stuff pretty darn well. I've, I've only had to rearrange it once or twice. It's got Wi-Fi, and you can download the app for your particular phone from the app store of your particular brand. No muss, no fuss, very easy to take care of. So far, I've been impressed. I'd like to thank the folks over there for sponsoring this video and go down to the description below to check out a coupon code as well as a link so you can go check out the Eureka Groove yourself and tell them Painfully Honest Tech sent you. Hey there friends on YouTube, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. Today, we are going to talk about the final, the tomorrow is the day, the final rumors, leaks, whatever. I think we know everything about the iPhone 12s. We're gonna see what phones we're gonna get, when we're gonna get them, how much they're gonna cost. I think, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Plus there are some other special things that are gonna come around during the event and we'll talk about those as well. But first, if you're brand new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. And if you are, um, not brand new, but haven't yet hit that bell icon, please do, because, uh, you know, then you'll know when the videos are coming out. So first, let's talk about what we know about the iPhone 12. First, we know that there are going to be four iPhone 12 models. Four iPhone 12 models. There's going to be the iPhone 12 mini. There's going to be the iPhone 12. There's going to be the iPhone 12 Pro, then there's gonna be the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now let me make sure that I, I, I get this right here. We've got the, the mini at uh, 5.4 inches, the 12 Pro at 6.1, the 12 at 6.1, and then the 12 Pro Max will be uh, 6.7 inches. So we got big phones, little phones. I think a lot of people are gonna be excited about the smaller mini phone because that's actually, a, pretty sure that's smaller than the iPhone SE that was released earlier this year and lots of people have been clamoring for smaller iPhones since they took away the smaller iPhones with the iPhone 6. In terms of uh, spec specifications, dual lens cameras on the mini, on the 12 we've got dual lens cameras. They start at 64 gigabytes of storage and go up to 256, that's 64, 128, 256. Uh, we've got Black, white, red, blue, green. Okay, so we, we need to say that these are all rumors that have been sort of coming down the pipeline from a lot of different sources. Most recently, someone going by the name known as Kang. And Kang uh, basically released all of this information about all of the things that the iPhones are going to be. And we don't know that they're going to... They seem to track with what we already knew uh, but it seems like tomorrow when the event happens, there's not going to be <laughs> a whole lot of, uh, of surprises. It's always nice to see the phones after months and months of leaking and speculation and all that kind of stuff. We'll finally get to actually see what they look like. Maybe there'll be some surprises, but, but maybe not. Okay. The iPhone 12 mini 5.4 inches. The price will start at $699, according to this. Uh, and it will be available for pre-order starting November 6th or 7th. Uh, launch date November 13th or 14th. Now that is 
later than usual. And the iPhone 12 Plus shares the November time frame as well. But it, the release dates that we have here are pre-order 13, 14 of November and launch date 20 and 21 of November. So a little Thanksgiving surprise, maybe uh, so. But the other phones, the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro will be announced tomorrow and then pre-orders on the 16th slash 17th and then uh, launch date on the 23rd of October. Uh, so the 25th of October is my birthday. Uh, if anybody's out there looking for something that they might want to... <laughs> the iPhone 12 is listed here at starting at $799, which I've heard anything from $749, $799. I've heard of uh, several different prices. Every The thing that I like about the iPhones that we know right now is that everything is pretty much staying in the same kind of price range within $50 or so one way or the other from what the prices have been now for about it, since the iPhone 10 came out and they started adding these new models they have not really moved from this it's an it's a refreshing thing to see whenever other companies are jacking the prices of their phones by quite a bit this year claiming that it's uh, that's 5G, and maybe it is. The iPhone 12 Pro comes in at $999, which is the typical price range that we see the uh, lower end model of the iPhone Pro line come in. But this year, and this is exciting, uh, we've got 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes of storage. And that's going, you know, so it starts at it starts at 1100 and goes up from there. But this is the first year that we actually get a usable <laughs> amount of storage on the lowest end iPhone Pro model. Uh, 64 is okay, but it's it's never been optimal. 128 gigabytes is just about the perfect spot for, for people who you know don't want to pay too much for the extra storage, but want to be able to use the phone for you know a year or two or whatever. The Pro line phones are going to have triple lens cameras. It's going to have LiDAR, which is room mapping and that kind of stuff. I'm still not entirely sure how well that works. They had LiDAR on the iPad uh, Pro 2020. I haven't used the iPad Pro 2020. This is the iPad Pro 2018. We've got a wide angle lens, f1.6, a 52 millimeter focal length telephoto lens, and four times optical zoom, according to this last little bit of leaks and rumors. Colors are going to be gold, silver, graphite, and blue. Um, graphite as opposed to space gray. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Maybe it is space gray. Maybe it's a slightly different uh, space gray. We'll have to see. I'm, I, I, some people are excited about the blue iPhone. I I don't know. I'm, I like the green iPhone from last year, but blue is not really exciting to me. You let me know down in the comments what you think about the potential for a blue iPhone. Of course, the iPhone 12 Pro Max model same storage, 128, 256, 512, starts at $1,099. That's where this phone has been priced since it was introduced with the iPhone XS Max. So I, again, like that. Same camera configuration, it looks like, although there may be some slight differences in the camera. This has some five times optical zoom and a 65 millimeter focal length. The Max model may have some improvements over the other models. It's not 100% clear. That's something we'll have to tune in tomorrow to find out. Same colors again, gold, silver, graphite, blue. We haven't had a gold iPhone for quite some time now, so that, uh, gold, gold. Gold. Again, tomorrow's the big event where we'll find out if any or all of this information is actually correct. It's going to be uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a pre-recorded event on track for pre-orders at the end of this week for the 12 and the 12 Pro and then on track for pre-orders for the 12 Mini first week of November and the 12 Pro Max the second week of November. Tune in tomorrow for my you know, full take of the event because I'll then tell you like, hey, so what, uh, <laughs> what really happened? What did we really get? Now, there are a couple of bad things that you guys need to know about that I feel it's my duty to tell you about. Uh, you might have heard already, but just in case you haven't, Apple is taking the charging brick 
and the headphones out of the box for these new iPhones. A lot of people are saying that it's a cost saving measure on one hand so that they can keep the prices down with the addition of the 5G inside the phone. Other people are saying that it's an eco-friendly thing to reduce e-waste so that if you don't need a charger, then you don't get one. There's probably a little bit something more beneficial to Apple there. I imagine that there will be some option when you buy a new iPhone, whether online or in person, but I expect most people online, uh, that you can get the five watt charging brick or the 18 watt charging brick. Uh, you can buy the headphones if you want to, and those things will be offered to you, right? So you could put them in the cart, but it's important that you know, if you're watching this video right now, it's important that you know that if you're buying any of these new iPhones or a new Apple watch, etc., cetera, et cetera, uh, there is no charging brick inside the phone. You will have to um, get a charging brick or use one that you already have. Yeah, the other thing that I want to make you guys aware of is that Every phone company is touting 5G this year. 5G this, 5G that, blah, blah, blah. Here's the story. 5G is not widespread. 5G is not everywhere. 5G won't be everywhere for quite some time. Uh, so if you're thinking like, oh, I'm gonna buy this phone because it has the 5G and things will be faster, don't buy this phone for 5G. 5G is something that'll be nice to have when it finally comes around, but it's not going to be something available to a lot of people for quite a bit of time. I live in Iowa and I know that there's like maybe one place in Des Moines in Iowa <laughs> that, that has uh, 5G available and uh, the rest of us are just still stuck here on the 4G. Don't let the 5G sell you on a phone. Get the phone because you want the phone. Don't get the phone because you think you need the phone. And don't listen to the people at your carrier store if they tell you that you do. And don't pay extra for 5G if it's not available in your area. So that's the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that we think that we know about the iPhone 12 event that's coming tomorrow, Tuesday, the 13th of October, 20. 20. Uh, we've got four iPhones. We've got a HomePod mini, perhaps. There's been talk of AirTags, but AirTags are kind of like the new air power. I don't know that they're ever going to exist. Uh, then <laughs> as well, as well as the potential for this MagSafe charging that we'll have to check out. There may be other things, but those are the rumors up to the moment. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know what you're excited about or if you're not excited about whatever you're gonna do. What iPhone are you going to get? Tell me that down in the comments. I will definitely be getting one of the ones that's coming out soon. And then I really want the Max phone this year. So I guess I have to wait until um, November to get that. Speaking of which, I wanna say thank you to everybody who has joined and become a member of the Painfully Honest Tech channel. There's a little join button down there below the video. So if you're not subscribed, then do that. If you feel like supporting the channel a little bit more, hit that join button. There are different levels of patronage that you can select. I gotta tell you that this little bit of extra support that you guys give me allows me to be able to cover more of these devices. I don't get these devices for free by and large. I go out and get them myself and I like it that way because it doesn't make me feel like I owe the companies anything and I don't feel predisposed to be nice to them because they were nice to me. If you can support, if you're interested in supporting, join button down there. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Bell notify yourself if you haven't done that already. Once again, thank you so much for being here. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech, so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.